Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 Applied Paper. Here we're looking at question five. Africa works in a call centre. Uh, she assumes that calls are independent and knows from past experience that on each sales call uh, that she makes, there is a probability of one in six that it is successful. Africa makes nine sales calls. Calculate the probability that at least three of these sales calls will be successful. So what we're doing here is a binomial distribution with 9 as our n value, our number of trials, and 1 sixth as the probability of success. And what we want to work out is the probability of at least 3 sales calls being successful, so that's the probability of greater than or equal to 3. Now when we go to our calculator and our binomial CD mode, what this allows us to calculate is the combined probability of number of successes from a certain point or fewer, but we want a certain number of successes or more. So what we'll have to do then is flip the probability around and work out the probability of two or fewer successes, which is the opposite of the question, and then we'll work out the opposite probability to it, so a double opposite will give us our final answer. So go into that probability binomial CD mode and type in your um, into, into the variable mode and type in your key pieces of data, which is two pieces of data, sorry, two successes or less out of nine, where the probability of each success is one divided by six. And you can type a little calculation into that probability section there, absolutely fine. And work it out so that it's going to be one minus 0 0.8217. Now what I do to get a very accurate answer here is store this value as A. So press the store button and then straight away the A button. And that will store it as your value for A. And then in, then in the normal calculator mode, do 1 minus A. And that will give you minus, sorry, 0 0.178. So there we are. It's about 17.8% chance that they'll, she'll have three successful calls or more. Okay, moving on to part B, the probability of Africa making a successful sales call is the same on each day. Africa makes nine sales calls on each of five different days. Calculates the probability of at least three of these sales calls would be successful on exactly one day. So this is really linking it back to the question before. What we've already worked out is the probability of at least three successful um, sales calls on, uh, on any given day. But now what we want to do is take five different days and find the probability that we get have three successful phone calls or more on exactly one day. So this is a different type of binomial distribution here. We now have five trials for five days of the week probably, where the number of, with the probability of success is based on three sales calls or more being successful, which is what we worked out in the last question, which was 0 0.178. And what we want to work out is the probability of getting exactly one day where we have three or more successful phone calls. So what we'll have to do is go to the binomial PD mode on our calculator. That will work out the exact probability of one success when we have these statistics here. Go to the variable mode, just type in your one success out of five with the probability one minus A. Remember that was the calculation that we had from before um, because A is the probability of two or fewer successes and we wanted the opposite of that, three or more successful phone calls. So that's our probability and that will make it as accurate as possible. Once you've pressed enter on that little thing there, it will appear as 0.178 dot 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 dot, but it'll be an accurate answer. And we get an answer here of 0 0.406. So the probability of exactly one of those days where they make where Africa makes three or more successful phone calls is 0 0.406. There we are, that's the answer to part B. Let's move on to part C. Rowan works in the same call centre as Africa and believes he is more successful uh, salesperson. To check Rowan's belief, Africa monitors the next 35 sales calls Rowan makes and finds that 11 of these sales are successful. Stating your hypothesis clearly, test at the 5% significance level whether or not there is evidence to support Rowan's belief. So the first thing we need to do then is do our little H0, H1. The probability is going to be equal to 1 sixth or the probability is going to be greater than 1 sixth. And we want to test the 5% significance level. T 
test is 0.05. Now our distribution here is going to be um, it's going to be the back to the x distribution where it's binomial probability. Or no, it's in fact it's not the same as the x as it is. Maybe we'll call it z. Z distribution where it's a binomial distribution, 35 sales calls, and we want a probability of one sixth. And now we want to test the probability that z is greater than or equal to 11. Why is it greater than or equal to 11? Because if we think that 11 is the point at which um, Rowan is deemed better than uh, Africa at being a salesperson, then 12 must also be included in, yes, Rowan is still better than Africa. 13, yes, Rowan is still better than Africa. So we're testing the whole probability that um, of, of the 11 or more successful phone calls made out of 35. So what we'll have to do here is we'll have to go and use our probability CD mode in reverse, just like we did to start with. We want to find the probability of 10 or fewer successful phone calls and then do one minus it. So again, binomial CD, the variable mode, we want 10 out of 35, uh, to find the probability of 10 out of 35 successful phone calls made or fewer with a probability of one sixth on each phone call. And that will give us a probability of 0.9768. Uh, so then we do one minus it, store that as B maybe, and then do one minus it, that's going to be 0.0232, which is 2.32%. So there is only a 2.32% chance that if the probability was um, 1 sixth, that anyone, uh, Rowan in this case, um, would make 11 or more successful phone calls. Uh, yeah, that's only 2.3%. So therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Reject null hypothesis. and support Rowan's belief that he is more successful, or a more successful salesperson. So there we are, that's the answer for question five. Just to highlight what this 2.32 is representing here, this is the p-value for this test. 2.32, uh, there's a 2.32% chance that if the probability was one sixth, that Rowan would be making 11 or more successful phone calls. And that's such a low probability that we have to assume that maybe the probability is not one sixth and maybe that the probability is higher than one sixth. So we've had less than 5% chance that um, the, the Rowan's uh, achievement of getting 11 out of 35 phone calls or more um, has, been a, has been successful. So therefore, um, this probability is so low that it must be the alternate hypothesis that is true, which actually Rowan is generally a better salesperson or his probability of each successful phone call is higher than one sixth. Yeah, so there we are. So that's the answer for question five worth uh, eight marks in total. Let's move on to question six.